Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles, DC Comics, Super Villains, The Joker. Joker was a late release versus the other two figures that have already been released from the DC Comics Super Villains line. Couldn't wait to get Joker, and as soon as I saw him in the local comic book store, I definitely wanted to pick him up. Spin around the side of the package, measures approximately 6.7 inches, 75 inches tall, sculpted by Paul Harding. And on the back, figures that we've already had a look at is Super, uh, Super Villains Harley Quinn and Super Villains Poison Ivy. Collect them all. Spot's going to take a break. Going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at DC Comics Super Villains The Joker. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. The first thing we'll have a look at with Joker is the included accessory of a knife. Not much to be said for the knife itself, just a black handled knife with a silver blade. But still, it's a nice touch. Nice to have Joker at least come with something, as opposed to some of the other figures that we've seen that come with absolutely nothing. Still absent on a display stand, but a knife I'll take either way. Having a look at the figure, oh and by the way, the knife sits in his hand. It's easier to probably put it in this hand than this hand because this hand looks like it's a little bit bigger. Which also brings the question that I had in my mind was, I feel like because his hand is this way, I feel like maybe he should have gotten a second accessory and maybe he it just ultimately was left off in, uh, in production. But still, you get Joker with the single knife. That's at least something. Moving it from his hand. Uh, let me also say, too, that this figure was worth the wait. It is probably one of the nicest Joker sculpts I have ever seen on a six scale figure. And of course, you know me, I love the Joker, the clown prince of crime, that I've collected pretty much most, if not all, of the Joker's figure releases. Joker, this one is probably my favorite of all of them. Uh, I love the fact, first of all, that he, it's just the classic design of Joker. Granted, yes, it's not quite the classic design. I guess. The departure is more so in his outfit than the face. The face is something that I could have flipped through the pages of an 80s Batman comic and gotten a Joker that looked like this. It's also very similar, and I wish I had the figure with me on hand right now, but it is also very similar to the original Mattel DC Superheroes uh, Joker. If you remember, I did the review of that. The face is very, very close. It's not quite, yeah, this is a step up by quite a mile, actually, but it's very similar in design. Love, of course, that his face is smiling. We got one or two Jokers where his face wasn't smiling at all, and I still don't... It seems odd not to get Joker, and he's not smiling. Nice big hair, that's the way that... That's the perfect hair sculpt for me, at least when it comes to Joker. Not long, not shaved or anything weird just having having his hair just kind of gelled up combed up like that is perfect i guess the only real glaring point i could make to it and it could be deliberate is that his face looks like there's a flesh color underneath and he's applied makeup over top there's sections especially like right around the ears and around the hairline where it looks like this has been painted on. And again, I don't know if that's deliberate or if, you know, it was just by accident. His face also has a more waxy complexion than his neck. His neck is more a matted color, which lends more to the idea that I feel like this is a deliberate attempt that he's painted this over his existing face. As for it goes for the rest of his body, though, sadly, there's not really much to say about his body. His He's lanky, which is good. That's the way Joker should be. Very long, very tall, very slender. But he doesn't have what I consider a definitive Joker look. And it may, it may be, again, this is how he appears now in comics. But the black, the white, and the long black trench coat, eh, I don't know. just doesn't work for me as much as a purple outfit. You know, something more zany in his, uh, in his shirt versus what we see right here. The shirt itself is also very plain, very white. The coloring of his neck is a little bit different than the rest of his shirt. His shirt is like stark white, but because, again, he's got more of a little area, little nooks and crannies of flesh color in his neck, that it does stand out versus the white shirt. Gloves are a shinier black versus the rest of the black in his, his uh, trench coat here. Again, it's not my preferred look, 
But I gotta say, if they were ever to reuse this head and just put it on a classic Joker body, I would buy the, this figure in a heartbeat again. Uh, when it comes to his articulation, Joker has a fair bit. Nice ball joint in the head. He has ball hinged socket shoulders, which rotate all the way around. Hinged elbows, which also rotate. Swivel point in the wrists. He has no uh, articulation in the waist, which is a shame, but come on, I mean, really ask yourself this. Would you ever really have Joker's kind of waist turned? Maybe, maybe not. It doesn't bother me too much that his waist doesn't rotate. And then for his legs, his legs go forward, back, and out. He uh, doesn't have a swivel point in the thigh area, but he does have a swivel point in the lower leg, which also bends at the knee, and finally hinges a little bit, just a little bit in the foot area. Nice pointy shoes, by the way, I might add as well. Uh, Joker has a little bit harder of a time to stand just because he's, especially his legs, his legs don't really hold the figure together well. Also, it seems like his feet, if you can see it, his feet angle this way, as opposed to being just straight out flat. So it really makes him difficult to stand. All the more reason that because you have that one peg hole, make use of a stand if you can find one. Again, fantastic Joker. Uh, DC Collectibles, I really hope they re-release this guy in classic Joker colors. And for me, this could be a definitive Joker. Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles, DC Comics, Super Villains, The Joker. Let's put his knife into his hand. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Uh, Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. And, of course, as I always say, too... Make sure you, local, you support your local comic book stores. It allows you to pick up fantastic figures like Joker here. Stay tuned, guys. Again, Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.